We start with the thermophilic compost that we make down the road. Like that's the main feedstock for the worms here. We do the cover crop in between the, the capping of the compost. So we'll bring the compost from over there. We'll have a cover crop growing in here. We let it get, you know, a foot or a foot or so tall. About the time it starts to lay over on its own, we'll bring in the thermophilic compost. I try to limit it to like, uh, you know, maybe a four to six inch layer. I try not to layer too much at a time. Um, we also add a lot of different biostimulants in here. So we'll use like some kelp. Um, we're playing around with some algae. We use humic acid, biochar. We do some minerals, azomite, green sand, some different things just to bring some mineral balance to the compost as well. Um, we use a mycorrhizal product in here for all the cover crop seeds. So the cover crop gets done growing, we cap it with that layer, and it's kind of that continuous system over and over again. We'll cut from these beds uh, probably once a month or once every three weeks, just, just shy of a month. We'll harvest several thousand pounds out of this room uh, at, each, at each cut. Is, is most of the uh, castings being used in an extract production, or do you sell a lot of the... the... A majority, yeah, probably 95% of them are being used to make extract. Okay. There's a, a very select few that are using it to maybe um, pot plants or um, make make some soil, but a majority of it is all going to extract, whether, whether that's we're extracting it here or we're shipping it to a farm and they have an extractor and they're extracting it themselves.